So the steel, 031, has a domed piston. I really like doing these saws with domed pistons. So, I am not going to cut the combustion chamber on the lathe. I'm only going to cut the base to get my desired squish. You can cut the combustion chamber on these if you so desire, but then you tend to have to modify your piston, and yes, it can be done. I just don't do it. Oh, we're at the lathe. Here's my fixture, 44 millimeters. We're going to chuck up on it. We're going to indicate in this fixture. I'm just going to snug it up a little. Hopefully you guys can see this. Dial indicator I'm using is a Starrett range. Half a thousandths. Each line's a half a thou. Get her set up on there. We'll find the center. One thou, two thou, two and a half. We're a little over two and a half. The closer you get this, the better it's going to turn out. So we're going to tap it on the high side. Low side, high side. I got a piece of brass. Now we're at. So right there. We're hovering within a half a thousandth, which is where I like it. I'm going to tighten it down, tighten down all three on the chuck. Let's look at it again. Now it moved. We're at two now. So we'll tap it again. Back to one. Okay, there's my half a thousandths. See if I can get you in there. That's how close you want it. You don't have to have it that close, but then your squish ain't going to be the same on all around the piston. The closer you get this now, the better the end result's going to be. So that's that. So here's my setup to cut the base on this cylinder. Just 
Check it. Make sure everything clears. We're in there all the way. We're not going to get any farther. Everything clears. Chuck clears. Everything clears. I'll put you back on the tripod. And I have this I made up to hold the cylinder. Running up there. Turn it. Tighten down the tailstock until she's good and tight. And that's it. So we need to touch this off. We're going to set up our dial indicator. Here it is. It's going to be hard to see. Allow me to work. But I'm going to do my best. You need yourself a piece of paper. This is how you're going to touch off your tool. You touch it off on the paper. Put it between the tool and the cylinder. Wiggle it up and down until you feel the pressure on it. Right there. Oh my. Can you see that indicator? It's on zero. Kind of lucky. All right. So now we know where our zero is. I just like to move it back and forth and feel it. So right there is two paper. That's saying it's about two. I'm going to rotate it to the other corner. And I'm just going to touch every corner and look at my indicator. We're about two there. About two. Yeah, it's under two. So everything is clear. Oh, we're gonna turn around. Here's what I do. I just bump it real quick. Make sure everything clears. Now we're good and safe. We are in 560 RPMs. We're gonna touch her off. Right there at one foul, it touched. That's where I heard it. I'm adjust my indicator to zero. I'm gonna back off of there. Oh, we said we're only taking 12 off of there. So I'm gonna do that in two cuts. My first cut will be seven thousandths. My second cut will be five. So we'll dial over to seven. Lock 
her down so she don't move. And we'll take the cut. That's it. We have decked the cylinder. Let's go see what the squish is now. Alright, let's put her on there and let's check the squish. Let's see how close we got to our 18 thou. Snug our bolts down, take our solder, I rotate, doesn't matter which way you rotate the motor to do this. It's tighter. Much tighter. See that? Oh, see how much flatter, wider it is now? Twenty. On an 18, we hit 20. Let's check the other side. I had to smash her three times there. Get her to smush that. Twenty two. So could we could we lower that another two thou? Yeah. So all right, we obviously have either the top of the piston. Or the combustion chamber that is two thousandths out. But 
I'm going to live with that right there. I'm happy with it. I'm not going to put that back on the lathe for 2,000. We're talking two thousandths of an inch. I mean, I'm happy. You guys could be happy too. You could be happy running the saw at 30 thousandths. It would run perfect.